Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, turn on your notification, so you'll know every time I upload. Now, let's get into it. I'm Odell, the host and creator of Assassin Studio and Simply Sundays. Yesterday, which was Thanksgiving, I got so into family time, that by the time I looked up, it was well after midnight, and Plotagon was back to their BS. I'm thinking about going strictly text, and voiceovers, for next week's episode. But as of now, here's a mashup. I hope you enjoy. After being strapped down to the Stokes basket, jumped, shot at, and sent through a fast mid-air spin, Micah showed his immense gratitude for a safe arrival at the docks, since the departure wasn't to be desired. But no matter how much Micah tried, he couldn't get himself out of those restraints fast enough. The basket was lifted up to the helicopter, so the ladder could drop down, without hurting anyone. Micah could see, both Rhonda and Katia descending from the helicopter. No sooner than Rhonda's feet touched the earth, six all-black SUVs pulled up, screeching tires, coming to a complete stop. With guns drawn, these men rushed out of their vehicles, with three marks in sight. But what they didn't know, is this team wasn't going down without a fight. When Micah finally reached the cabin of the helicopter, he yelled to be released and let down. Before Micah could release himself, off they went, leaving his teammates to fend for themselves. Micah took his eyes off of Katia, to focus his attention on the pilot. He took one step, then felt a sharp pain in his neck, before passing out. <gasps> we don't have much time. We have less than you thought. What? No really, a lot less. Rhonda turned around, and came face to face with a masked woman. She reached out her thin, pale hand, in attempts to caress Rhonda's face. Without hesitation, Rhonda batted her hand away, pulled her firearm, and pressed it against the woman's mask. Behind her, Katia was ready for battle, and that's by any means necessary, because the odds were not in their favor. One way or another, you're coming with me. Sing Sing demanded, grabbing Rhonda's head, directing her sight towards the sky. Rhonda and Katia gazed, and there hung Micah by his feet, swaying back and forth from the base of the helicopter. Katia lets out a deafening scream, before taking full control of the situation, so she thought. Katia took out six of the seven men, before she was hit with a tranquilizer, and fell to her knees before blacking out herself. Rhonda watched as the last of her team was captured, but by whom? Within seconds, she also received her turn at being tranquilized. The worst thing their kidnappers could do, is put them together, and they did just that. Eric and Micah started to come too, their hands were shackled above their heads, legs numb, and shackled to the wall. The room was silent, with chains eerily clinking together giving them chills of the torture they may be facing. Soft dirt covered the floors, and the walls were made of some sort of stone. But not like the clay substance, beneath their hanging feet. Katya, Katya, are you okay? Sweetheart, open your eyes. Micah harshly whispered, She's trying, they must have gotten shot together because they aren't waking up as fast. Eric replied. The men were fully awake, and ready to devise a plan but needed the input of their partners, of their wives. Instead, Eric started working on freeing his hands, while Micah kept an eye out for any guards. Katia and Rhonda simultaneously started waking up, moaning loudly, bringing unwanted attention their way. Rhonda, you have to be quiet. Rhonda, you're going to make them come sooner, Rhonda Rhonda. Eric whispered, since he was placed closer to the women, and Micah on the far end, away from all three of his teammates. Slowly waking up, both Rhonda and Katia jolted in fear, after realizing they've all been captured, but all together once again. Eric explained the plan. My hands are free, but those guards will be coming around in a few minutes. Every two hours, a bell goes off, that's when they start making their rounds making sure we're still where they placed us. We're not sure if they have all the major players from all agencies. Where are the files? Katia whispered that she hid the files back on the island, outside of Shanghai. Great job, everyone, stay focused. We'll be out of here in no time. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned. For Season 3, Episode 10, next Thursday.